But you mentioned something earlier, Javante, that 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 that, that changed within the NFL. They have now announced they are changing overtime rules in the playoffs to where both teams will get a possession. The rules in regular season stay the same, so ties can still happen. How do we feel about that? Because I think obviously I think people think Josh Allen you didn't need should it. have gotten the chance in, at, at the end of that uh, the Bills game. Would have, should have. It doesn't really matter. It's still flawed. People will still make complaints. It, yeah, like yeah. Because this, this, my biggest complaint is this is going to bleed into the regular season, and that's my biggest worry. Do I hate it? Well, now it's just kind of like be more entertaining, nonetheless. Well, Tony, even at this though. Well, go ahead, go ahead. I was like, I, I'm glad it's only in the playoffs. Like, mm-hmm. at least you're limiting it. So I like the regular season. It can end in a tie. The overtime, it like it ends when it ends, so I don't have to endure more. But yeah. like playoffs, it makes sense because when we saw the Kansas City, it looked like it could have gone on for another three hours, and like everybody would have been happy with it. Yeah. Um. But an, and I guess another reason why I like it, it's in the playoffs is that, or one reason that I don't like that it's in the playoffs, I guess you could say, is that these players are going to start getting hurt. They're going to start be, their stamina is going to start going down. They're going to get like it's going to be aggressive on their body. So yeah, they're going to have to like work on that. Then, it's going to be a and then also really what ha- what happens if both teams score a touchdown? It's just going to keep going and right also think about now it's not like you usually want, want the ball for now. I want the ball second because mm-hmm. if you punt the ball. I know what I gotta do. Or if, if field possession, yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, it's, all, it's always been like that. But my no, you usually want the ball first in overtime, huh? You always want the ball first in overtime. Well, of course. Usually, now you want it second. I don't want it first. I want to play defense first and know what I gotta get. Yeah. You go from there. But all right. But here, here's my thing with that is like it's basically the same thing because it only say, changes if you score a touchdown. Yeah. Let's say both teams score. Then guess what? The team that won the coin toss in overtime that had the possession first is gonna be the first team to have get the chance in sudden death. You know? Yeah. Unless, See, unless sudden death is decided by a coin flip. And my other problem with this rule is, look, I played defense in high school. This is professional. This is pro football, bro. Like, I, I know we were talking about the quarterback, the Sean Watson thing. Mm-hmm. This is why I made my point about the Sean Watson and the quarterback being the most important thing. But this is professionals, bro. If you can't stop somebody, you may not deserve to, you don't deserve to win. The Buffalo Bills did not deserve to win that game, let's be honest. They, you they, couldn't hold one stop. You could get one stop. With yeah. what, 13, 13 seconds? 13 seconds left. You don't deserve to win the game. This and is, and you're you, don't, a you don't you don't script the ball. You yes. kick, you, kick, you kick it in the end zone for a touchback. Let's be and honest. Did no they deserve, time runs off. They deserve to win the game. No. You deserve to play. Enough. You deserve to lose. You didn't play defense. This is professional sports. This is football. It's not like any other sport. There's two. It, this is why football's amazing, people. And I like it too. Everybody plays a part. Special teams, defense, offense. If you can't play your part, just like Green Bay with the special teams, you don't deserve to win. It's a team game. We talk about this as a team sport, team game. We're basically saying, oh, it's an offensive game. Defense don't matter, especially team don't matter, it's an offensive game. And I don't like that either. I feel it takes away from the defensive side of the ball. Yeah. This is pro sports. Yeah. It's professional football. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Play really defense. I, I, I feel like, I mean, Buffalo came into the playoffs with what, top 10 ranked defense. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me that you couldn't stop the Chiefs on one out of those four. What was it? Four? Because they scored like four consecutive possessions. And it right? was the how you didn't stop. It was the simple, like, you got to stop Tiger Kill. You got to stop Travis Kelsey. Yeah. And that's literally they wanna, all they They don't want to run the ball. They don't want to run the you ball. Had, you, had three, you had three straight possessions. You could have stopped them. Gave the ball back to your offense. They could have drained the rest of the clock for the rest of the fourth quarter. Exactly. They didn't deserve but, the game. And then, you know, let it be that. You score a touchdown. You have 13 seconds remaining. You can't stop them one time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 13 seconds. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, Maybe it's on coaching, too, because McDermott should have known with Thirteen at, at, at that point, thirteen seconds. Timeouts don't matter because yes. you're only going to get so many plays off like in you're thirteen only seconds. Get like two to three plays. Squip back. the ball, take it down to nine eight seconds. Yep. At most, you're going to get at most two plays. Exactly. And, and my thing is, what I did not get anything like from Sean McDermott's play calling. Why the hell are you rushing for? Why don't you rush three, drop Keep back a- three in the middle of the field? And then drop the rest back. And that's, that's, a, and that's why I go to my state. You don't deserve to win. Yeah. Yep. It's a fa- It's all assets of the game which make football amazing. It's yeah. all assets have to be on point to be a win. Cincinnati did in the playoffs. They had a de- what, what, how to beat Chiefs? Defense a stop. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They, now they made, made the crucial play when they had to. Exactly. I'm not saying you have to have a defense that's a, a stop. But what we all say about the Cowboys? Bend but don't break. I need mm-hmm. you at certain moments to give me the ball back. Mm-hmm. And that's my problem. I feel like now, I know people love the shootout. We love the Rams, Chiefs shootout a couple years ago. That's, one of my, that's a great game. Mm-hmm. But I feel like we're. Water in the game, we're basically saying, okay, offense is all that matters. Defense, it don't matter. You know I mean, I don't like that either. I feel it's not Who can get the game. highest scores? Exactly. Yeah. I don't like that for football. I feel like yeah. football should not be playing 60 points. Bro. I, just, I don't want to see quarterbacks just shooting out. I get the casual fan excited by that, but I want to play some defense. Us right? analytical. I want to see a stop. Yeah. We look at the game, we're like, this isn't right. 
Yeah. So I guess we're on a grade in the new overtime rules boo boo. It's not like it'll make it'll, 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 it'll make it exciting. It. It'll yeah, make like, it more dramatic in the playoffs. I bet people are still make complaints about this rule. It's Watch. not. It's They're not gonna a, still think it's flawed. It's not a terrible rule, but the previous rule. You know, it, it, was, it, it was fine. Fun. There was nothing it, wrong with it. Yeah, like, I, I didn't think it should have been, like, cause, especially because it was pretty new. Like, this yeah. was, like, uh, I feel like we all saw this rule get implemented, yeah. like, at least at well, three, like, four years ago. I exactly. Yeah. It was just like, oh, we're going to change it again? Like, we didn't even get to, like, fully live out this life, you know? Let me ask you, you know? a question. How would you feel about this? I'm not with the rule change either. I'm just saying. I feel like this is a little more fair for everybody. You get the ball at the 50, made the other 40, opposite 45. You get in the end zone, you got to go for two. Both teams get possession. What do you think? So it comes down to a two-point conversion? Ideally. Yeah, and you got to get the end zone also. You got to score first. You got to score, 45. and then you got to get the two. So I'm going to get you opposite But then all the pressure really is on the two-point conversion play. Well, I think, th- I think that's what the Titans, they um, – That would be that's what I think that's like, what they like college. What to do. But, like, more – because college, I, I think the overtime rule is pretty fair, but I want to make it further because, you know, it's professional. I don't yeah, play. like, thir- I feel like what is, what is it usually at? The, the uh, 25-30? 30, yeah. yeah. But they, so, do, they do the whole two-point conversion thing now too because, like, bro. So I think you put the opposite 45. Well, they do it after, I think, what, the third, first, yeah, third, third, third period. First, third period, yeah. Opposite 45, hey, bro, you got to go for two. You don't get it, game over, the other team win. If, you, if y'all, I mean, you know what I mean? That's how I think you should do it. I like it. If, I you, mean, if you want something that's more like still emphasizes defense, still got to get a stop. Yeah. At some point, you got you to touch up, you got to stop the two-point conversion. And then it's whatever your best two-point play is. Exactly. Yeah, I like that. But like you understand, I feel like no matter what people are complaining about, they'll find a way. And as exactly. you said, Tony, we I fear it might eventually bleed into the regular season right. where people will complain. Because we're going to get a matchup during the season with Mahomes and Josh Allen, and it'll be it'll have a very similar outcome. It'll be like, oh, Mahomes didn't even get the chance, or Josh Allen didn't get a chance again. And it's like, yeah. well, you should probably invest in defense. Exactly. You should invest this in someone is to stop a them. team game. There's different. There's three aspects to the game. Although yeah. I hate ties. I, I, I hate, hate ties too. But I, <laughs> I, like I like them. I like them. I like them. It's like damn, y'all I suck. Hate, I, hate, I, hate, I, hate, I hate seeing it at the. I hate seeing it on the record. It. I just. Ugh. I love it. It's I like so it. like it, it's a blemish, and that's what I like. It's I like, wish it's worse than a loss, in my opinion. I'm like, oh, you no, I wish you deserved that tie. I wish you'd be so bad. That is true. I wish there was like tie games where, like, after let's say they they end the overtime. I wish they just went like soccer. They had like penalty kits. Like you just had team your team line up for a field goal. Do one on one. One on one. Whoever, gets, one. You know. <laughs> whoever misses first, that's who loses. Uh, I think I anyway, anyway you do it, somebody's gonna find a problem with it. But it is what it is. I just want to see defense be able to still have an impact in the game. That's all. Let's go over some of the latest uh, other news around the NFL before we kick it to Dre and Jay. 